This is B Mac here for podcast 124. Subscribe, guys. So, where do I begin? Um, so we had a pool at the house. My dad's selling it right now. So we're getting a blow-up pool this year for the summer. Which should be easier. Um, to, you know, put up and put back down, you know, we don't need it. But beside the fact, uh, we are working on a guest coming on our podcast very soon. And Christine, she works at the Chelsea site. So she's going to be coming on, I think, very soon. We'll keep you updated on that over the phone lines. Um, so yeah, call and get what you guys want. I want to hear what you guys think. So the big news today out of Massachusetts so my friend Jim Lyons, who you guys you guys probably remember, he was on here was that a year ago, I think it was, or a year before that. He's the Mass Republican State Chairman of Massachusetts. So good news for me, bad news for those who don't like our movement. The MAGA movement in Massachusetts is growing stronger every day in Massachusetts. So what does Charlie Park, no, Parker, how he guys says Parker, Baker want to do? He wants to purge the Republican party. He wants to get us conservatives out and get the, what I say, rhinos in, um, you know, the, 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 the non Republican Republicans, the big Republicans. So I am with Jim Lines all the way because of my friend, and he deserves my full endorsement. And Deb Martell, full endorsement. Um, what I want to see in Massachusetts is literally an all, okay, here's what I want. As a America first person, I'd like to see the Boston Mass Republican Party become nothing but Trumplicans. That's, all, that's what I want, is entirely nothing but Trumplicans. Because um, they don't support they don't support that movement, they're not Republicans. That's what I think. Um, but yeah, I like to see that. And thank you to Jeff Cooner for saying this this morning. You know what's funny? He's the only one that's, ever, he's the only one that's actually saying this, though. You know, or he speaks the truth, at least, when it comes to media, you know. At least it's not like fake news, CNN or fake news, you know, New York Times or whatever. Um, you know, at least that, at least he's not fake news. At least he's authentic and real when he reports on issues. And so, oh, also, I recently um, heard this song last weekend for my birthday party, actually. I'll get into that in a second, too, how that was. Um, from the movie Sing. And um, so it's called Set It All Free by Scarlett Johansson, who I didn't know that say. I didn't know that. Um, that the um, – um, that um, – that – was in this movie, I said the end credits called Set It All Free. It's really, really, it's, it's very much a comeback song. At least to me it is. But I don't see why these people, because I see it as a campaign slogan. Not a slogan, but a campaign song that could be used. But why is it that some of my friends don't see it that way? What, what, why? What, 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 why is that? Explain to me why you don't see that. They say, it's too young for them. It's too young. Listen, I think it's a great song. Agree to disagree. That's okay. But I think it's a great, it's, an, it's a great campaign song to use for rallies at the end of events. Use it. Why not? That should be the new Trump campaign song, 2024 campaign. At the end of his rallies, that song should be used. Now, who said this? Was too young? One of my friends did. 
to send for him. And somebody else says, he's 70. He wouldn't use a song like that. Why wouldn't he? What do you mean? Yeah. Somebody said, he's 70. He wouldn't use a song like that. He's 70 years old. He wouldn't use that song. I'm like, what do you mean? He wants to be hip. He wants to be current. He wants to be relevant. Why can't he use that song? I would use it if I was a, if I was running for some kind of office. That'd be the first song I would use. I would use it on my own pretext. You know, it's uh, it's it's the real thing. It's for how I would do it. I would use it at every single rally I would have. It would it would literally be the ending, the ending of the beginning song. I'm still figuring that out, but it, it would be in there one way or the other. Um, it goes something like you set off free. It goes something like oh. I get back up into the fire, but Gern got burning. Yeah, it's something like that. But it's a really good song. Check it out. It's called Set It All Free from the Movie Sing. So, my birthday party. Let's get my birthday for a second. Start with this first birthday party. My friend, you guys might remember him. He's a box of Stoney. He came by. He got me. He gave me some money. Thank you, Stoney, for that. Love you, Stoney. Um, he gave me some money. His friend Jimmy Cap also, well, they're, they're probably, I think they both gave me the same card. They gave me some cash. I got some money from Auntie Kim. I got a gift card for Amazon. I think it was from Auntie Kerry. One of those two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but one of those two. And I got a gift card for JG's. I think it was JG's also. And um, Fuddruckers, I got a gift card for you. It was actually on my birthday birthday. And I – now – Marissa couldn't come. She had a wedding to go to. That's okay, though. I still will see her soon at the clubs. We're going to be getting back, baby. Let's go. Cannot wait. Um, and I even – I got – so let me break this down for you. I got wireless headphones um, from Amazon. There's more to them. I'm going to say that in a second. I got wireless headphones from Amazon. So I tried them out. And I found out that it only sings with it only pairs with one of my devices. Um, so, but I use it, and now when I use it now, even if I move around a lot, if I'm sitting still in that same position, it'll go. <laughs> it'll like it'll like sputter and like stop and skip. Um, so. Hoping to get a new pair of wireless headphones, hopefully soon. Maybe one way more expensive, probably. And I also got a – actually, I haven't heard gotten them yet. I'm still waiting for those too. A book and a DVD. One is called The Making of Donald Trump, which is a book. Now, I've got some red flags about it. Why do I say that? I've got red flags about it. Because a journalist – it's not on his side. So I've I got some reflections about the book. I'm going to read it. I'm going to listen to it. And I'm going to give a full review on it once I'm done with it. But I've got some red flags about the book already. Because it's going to probably be full of fake news. Most likely it's what it's going to be. It's going to probably be a fake news propagandic book, which I'm, I'm skeptical of. I'll have to see. Again, I'll do a review on it once I'm done with it. And I also got a movie by a filmmaker named Dennis D'Souza called The Trump Card, which is how he outsmarted everyone. So I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, and 26 now, too. Got to mention that, too. Um, but yeah, I'm happy about the Massachusetts Republican Party that we're heading in the right direction somewhat. We are recruiting people day by day. The movement has only just begun. I'm very happy that, you know, a little more every day we're getting. So thank you, guys. This has been Podcast 124. And, and again, check out that song by Scarlett Joe Hansen called Set It All Free by Scarlett Joe Hansen. Leave it in the comments below what you guys think. Send me an email at brian.macaulay1 at gmail.com. Preferably that would get to me. So 
Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys next week.